Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to my new tutorial series on how to create a uh, zombie like first person shooter game with the Unity Game Engine. Now, in the previous uh, series, I showed you guys how to make a normal first person shooter game with the Unity Game Engine, but now I decided to actually show you guys how you can make a zombie like first person shooter game with the Unity Game Engine. Now, uh, if you're completely new to Unity or you're actually interested in creating a video game with Unity, you can actually visit unity3d.com and download the uh, Unity game engine there. Now, uh, do note if you download Unity 5, the scripts that we'll be using for this series might not work. Alright, the way in which the scripts uh, are set up or the way in which U the Unity 5 game engine references script it uh, requires the script to be written in a certain way you know uh, for animations and so forth is usually get component now so you guys are going to need to keep that in mind so I recommend you go and uh, download the Unity 4.63 uh, because that's what I'm using for this uh, series so yeah everything should work out just fine good stuff now I'll be this is merely an intro so we won't be covering anything in this series in this uh intro video so what i'll be showing you guys though uh what exactly we will be covering in the series now the first thing we'll be covering is the splash screen now the splash screen you know when you build your game you don't want it to just go to your main menu right away you want it to have a sort of uh splash screen that you may see in a lot of games you know so I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that but it's not gonna be a video like it's gonna be merely a texture or yeah texture on a plane and you just it just uh, passes to the next one you can have multiple uh, uh, splash screen if you want to you know yeah so that's what I'll be showing you guys now the main menu now I'll be going over back the basics of uh, adding the main menu to your game with the 3D text and I'll be going over um, something a little more advanced which can be the GUI. Now uh, you guys can choose whichever one you want for your game. I'm just doing this over back because uh, someone had a little bit of a problem with the audio in my previous tutorial series. You know, at first the first four or five uh, tutorials were the audio was a bit low so you didn't really get to hear me that good but I've made a little adjustment to that so I'm gonna do everything over back for that person or persons who had problems with hearing my what I'm actually saying so yeah the level creation now you guys are gonna actually have to have some called sort of idea for your game you know I'm just gonna show you guys my idea of a kind of zombie like uh, first person shooter game you know you guys can actually get demo scenes or some assets from the unity asset store to use your game if you want to you know so yeah I'm just gonna be showing you guys how you can go about making the game and creating your level uh, from scratch and so forth but this is my idea you know you can use it if you want to but if you want to use your own idea that's perfectly fine now the building to play now we did this in the previous uh, series as well we build the player however I'm gonna be showing you guys a little more in depth on building the player we'll be adding mini map uh, some other cool stuff we're gonna be adding to the play you know sprinting and you know stuff like that yeah so we're gonna go a little bit more advanced in building the player in this uh, zombie like FPS series and we'll be going and focus a little bit more on the enemy AI now for those persons who are completely new to unity you might not know what enemy AI means uh, it means artificial intelligence, enemy artificial intelligence, where you actually give the enemy a mind or a brain or yeah, a mind of their own, you know, so they can actually make the decision of what you want them to do. So all that will be in the script. You attach the script to the enemy, and the enemy basically does what you set the script 
what you set up in the script so yeah we'll be focusing on that and we'll be building our enemy a little bit more advanced you know good stuff and the audios I'll be going over the stuff uh, that we did in the previous series on audios you know uh, adding multiple audio adding an uh, audio source to your main camera and just let the music play we'll be doing that and we'll be going a little bit more in depth we're gonna be uh, going and making audios play on collision you know we're gonna be focusing on those stuff as well good stuff the lighting now the lighting I only showed you guys how you can actually add a directional light in your game you know I'm gonna be showing you guys the difference between these other lights as well we're gonna be using these other lights you know because this is a zombie light game you know it, the scenery needs to be a bit darkened you know good stuff so I'm gonna be showing you guys these lights and I'm gonna be showing you guys I can actually put an object that takes the look of a light bulb and then make change the shader so it's gonna actually look you know like it's actually lighting good stuff uh, so we're gonna go to load the level on collision now if you notice in my previous series it's available on my YouTube channel so you can check it out um, we were actually loading our next level on a countdown timer so if we set the timer at let's say five minutes within five minutes it loads the next level however in this uh, series here I'm gonna be showing you guys I can spawn an object after the time expires and once you collide with that object it'll load the next level so you don't necessarily uh, it well that what that means is that once the countdown time reaches the zero you're not gonna load the next level until the player collides with whatever you set it to collide with so yeah th those are some uh, stuff I'm gonna be teaching you guys that's some fine fixes now we're gonna be going over back all of this stuff and we're gonna be ensuring that these stuff are up to date you know if they need to be adjusted a bit more we can adjust them and a quick walkthrough of everything we did yeah good stuff and we're gonna be going doing some other cool stuff as well I can't give you guys everything you know good stuff so these are some stuff that um you guys can look forward for you know in my series in this uh, new uh, FPS series on how to make a zombie like first person shooter game with the Unity game engine here's some stuff you guys can look forward for now uh, the schedule timing for my uh, videos you know my tutorials uh, you guys can check out my channel every Friday for sure and you guys are gonna get a video or two there might be multiple videos on Friday or yeah on Friday but you can actually look forward for one video per week if I have uh, uh, the luxury of time I'm gonna actually make multiple uh, videos covering some various stuff that will be that we need to actually know when we're making a zombie like uh, FPS game so yeah that's pretty much that now uh, if you guys like this intro you guys can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe to my channel keep yourself up to date with my series and uh, we'll begin our series the next time we meet so yeah that's pretty much that so until next time continue making games guys and I'll see you guys in the next in tutorial one sorry peace